I just started watching a Rihanna and Ashley vlog while I was tidying out my airing cupboard. <laughs> Tell me you're 31 when that's only you're 31. And was like, Cara, you've been telling yourself to start vlogging again for weeks. Weeks and that you want your vlogs to be like Rihanna and Ashley's and I just love her chill vibe. Um, so this is exactly what that would be. I need a fun hobby back in my life and something to bring a bit of joy. So I'm going to attempt to do some vlogging. I was going to get myself to do Vlogtober but I feel like a vlog every day. Possibly going to be a bit too much but I'm going to at least try and get one up every week in October, once a week maybe, and do a little bit of a weekly vloggy type thing like I used to throughout October and just try and get back into the vibe of it. So, I've been at work all day today, as normal humans do. I've, I've also been off sick for the last, like, well I went home, um, I went home sick on Friday. Let me pause you went home sick on Friday, was off Monday, Tuesday as well and then I went, was working from home yesterday and then went back to work like in office almost today. I'm pooped from it so I don't know why I started doing this which and everything's all over the place. Basically we had the wedding and I just kind of dumped everything in down there, um, out of sight, out of mind. Uh, <laughs> for some reason today had the energy and the want to tidy it. Don't really know why. That's a lie. I do know why. It's because I watched Emma Chamberlain's Let's Chat and Work at the same time because otherwise I'm never going to get anything done. That's horrific. There she is. Is that any better? Probably not. You can kind of see the room. This is our spare room by the way. Yeah, I watched Emma Chamberlain's house tour on... what was it on? Well, it was on YouTube, but um, Architect design or something I don't know um and it's literally immaculate like I feel like people that own houses like that don't look like they live in them and I mean she lives on her own so if I lived on my own I feel like my house would probably be a bit more tidy than it is but then again probably wouldn't because a lot of the mess around the house is mine um so yeah I just got home and decided that I was gonna organize something so here we are organising. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Uh, let's just get organising I guess, shall we? better or worse but have a little uh airing cupboard reveal <laughs> i didn't obviously do it before so i'm gonna know what i'm comparing it to but there we are that's my airing cupboard would you like to see the spare room or like as it is i mean it's a bit messy but here we go if you are old school and you've been here for a really 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 long time you will know that that mirror is from an old workplace um when i worked in jewelry uh they moved and i always said i wanted that mirror and voila uh but we painted it to match the rim wall is like as close as you can get it and then we've got crates and i've got a massive spot well i say massive that is a massive spider plant. Um, these crates are just from Ikea. And then that's got books and stuff on it. We've got a little tripod light there, which I love. Delilah's bed. Um, blankets and a basket. Little sample stuff for any guests that we have. They can take those. Got a pin board, which I want to cover in like Polaroid photos when I get some more film with my Polaroid camera, which I actually don't know where that is at the moment. Um, got an old school camera. I'm actually obsessed with this to be fair. I love this. We found it at a car boot sale, um, which I'm really sad. It is not car boot sale season anymore. And to be fair, we didn't really go to many this year, which is kind of sad really, isn't it? Um, then we put the air in cupboard, let's just <laughs> close that. And then over here, 
Um, we've got this trunk, which I love. I really like that trunk. We're currently housing the spider plant, which was in the landing, but the landing is currently the room that's being renovated. And then there's me. Then we've got loads of Harry Potter pictures up there. Um, I found these on, um, there's a girl I follow on Instagram called Kelly. I cannot remember her Instagram tag. I'll try and remember it and put it somewhere on the screen. Um, but she is also Harry Potter obsessed. Um, and these are like real location photos of, you can't see them very well, they're reflecting, of um, the Harry Potter films. But like really subtly done. The only one that has anything written on it is this one, which is obviously the Hogwarts Express. So yeah, that's cool. That flower display there is from the wedding. That's going to go up there eventually. It just needs fixing and also um, a bracket. We've gone out of focus. Uh, a bracket on it so that we can put it up. And then here we've got a little, our little projector screen. That's our mini projector. You plug it into your laptop basically and then it projects whatever's on your laptop screen onto the projector, which I thought was pretty cool. That's the box for it that was in there. I have a lot of stuff that I need to find a home for now. Oh no. But yeah, let's go have some dinner. I do a little bit of cupboard chats while I do my dinner. Standard. I've got giant gnocchi. 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 For dinner. But it's like pesto stuffed. Now, yeah, I'm assuming you're meant to do this with a sauce, which I don't have. Do you need a toilet? Um, yeah, I think I'm meant to have it with a sauce, but I don't have any sauces to have with it. So maybe I'm not going to have that for dinner because that'd be a bit shit, wouldn't it? Now I don't know what to do. Dilemmas. Good morning. I can't find a good angle in this class of vlog. <laughs> so you're there. And I think it cuts off half my head. So let's slouch. <laughs> that would just look bizarre. If you're wondering, I know you're not. I had a bowl of cereal for dinner because I was so upset about the gnocchi situation. So today I'm going to buy a creamy cheese sauce. And we're going to have gnocchi tonight. I feel like I've taken a bit of a turn backwards with feeling poorly, by the way. Woke up this morning, definitely getting a sore throat, very congested. Uh, very excited to go work in a building that has no windows and no fresh air. So this is going to be a good day. No, positive vibes. This is going to be a good day. Oh, I'm just so glad it's freaking Friday, to be honest, because I'm tired. I mean, I've only been at work three days this week, in office twice, but I'm tired. <laughs> I need a chill day where I can actually chill and not feel like rubbish all day. Is it porridge? Would we say it's porridge season? I would say it's porridge season now because it's foggy. I don't know if you can see out the windows. It's foggy, which to me says porridge. Happy Saturday, it's the 1st of October, and I'm very happy about that. <laughs> Spooky season is here, and it makes me very happy. Anyway, yeah, as I was saying, it's Saturday, it's the 1st of October. Is it bizarre to be able to see me vlogging in the camera there? <laughs> um, I have booked a hair appointment for Saturday next week. My hair just doesn't hold colour very well, I feel like. Uh, so I'm going to have my colour touched up and also have, have it cut and potentially I'm having some curtain bangs cut in because I just feel like it's really heavy around my face and yeah, I just want to add a bit more texture to it because it's so fine, it doesn't do it by itself. I've got to help it along its way. I've got my nails booked in for Tuesday. Delilah has a haircut booked in for Tuesday too. It's going to be a good week ahead of us and tidy the house because we have people coming around 
this evening and we're going out for dinner. We're going to the little pub restaurant thing that we went to the day we got legally married. It was very confusing. We had, we legally got married like three or four days before the wedding, I think. Yeah, so we're gonna go there tonight. The food there is incredible. If you are in the Bedford area and know, let's put you here, that's cute. And know um, Wooten in Bedford, the leg straps, that is where we're going tonight. Their food's insane. Uh, their scotched eggs are my favorite and it's possibly the best steak I've ever eaten in my life. There. So yeah, we're going there tonight. So I've got a day of cleaning the house, which tends to be my Saturday most weeks anyway. Nothing new there. Yeah, what else is happening in the week ahead of us? Our windows are being changed. <laughs> are we getting a new front door? Monday and Tuesday, that's happening. So it better not rain because we're having some brickwork done and I don't think they can do it if it rains. I might be wrong, I don't know. And that's it. So let's just get on with our day, shall we? It's time to get some shit done. <laughs> Found out about this when a maintenance man that went on for a few years, but I convinced myself that I was crazy. I know it literally looks like I've done nothing so far today. That's a, but it's a lie. I've changed the bed, stripped the bed, I've t tidied like all down here, even though it doesn't look like it because my house is built in sight and literally is a tip every single second of the day. But I've put hocus pocus hocus pocus 2 on again for the second time i watched it last night i was very excited didn't really know what to expect so kind of went in with no expectations i really enjoyed it i think it kept like the magic of the old hocus pocus with more of a modern twist i was really worried that they weren't really going to focus on the witches and it was going to be more about a story of people that we don't know but they combined like little bits from the original into this and obviously the music is great in it. Yeah, I was like really impressed and I think it's going to become another go-to film for me, I think. I'm not very good at reviewing films, not very, no, I don't know how to word things, but yeah, I really liked it, it was good. So I'm watching it again. Let me know in the comments if you are a Hocus Pocus fan and have watched the new one. Let me know what you thought of it. Is it what you were expecting? Is it nothing like what you were expecting? Do you love it? Also let me know what your favourite Halloween film is because I'm going to fully embrace this October and watch all of the scary films and all of the spookiness is going to be absorbed by me. I want it all because I feel like I lost the last half of September from being ill. <laughs> I really want to go to a pumpkin patch this year as well. I don't think we've been... I haven't been to a pumpkin patch for the last two years. Two years. Two or three years, even, maybe. So I really want to go this year. It's on my bucket list for October, so we'll see if that happens. Naturally, I obviously didn't vlog anything yesterday after the last clip. Uh, <laughs> it's going to take, uh, I think, a little while to get used to having to pick up the camera and whatever, like, think back and film this bit. Um, <clears throat> but we went out for dinner, uh, it was delicious, so good. And yeah, it was just really nice to see. Um, we basically went, we met everyone. Oh, oh, words, hold on, let me grab one. We went out for dinner with couple that we met on our mini moon we went away to some cabins um in lincolnshire yeah for a couple of days after we got married um and there was another couple in the cabin next door to us it was just us like two there and we just got on so well um like it was just so random that they were like the same age as us she was from um milton Keynes, so like super close and yeah, we just all got on really well and then she messaged me a couple of days ago and was like, oh, we're in Milton Keynes at the weekend, should we meet? Meet up, so we went for dinner and Ben and I were saying on the way back, it's so nice like that we've met a couple that, that last night was only the second time that 
we've ever met but it feels like we've known them for years um they've got a little dog called luna <coughs> so uh yeah it was really nice to see them you haven't seen delifer yet i mean she's a bit wiggly today what's wrong hmm? she's got her hair cut on tuesday but yeah they bought delilah the sun's so bright they bought delilah um a little pumpkin toy and they bought luna some toys as well um which Delilah found last night because she, for some reason, just loves little toys. I don't know if it's because they fit in her mouth, so then like easier for her to play with or carry around or something. I don't really know. Hello. Um, but yeah, she's just always drawn to cat toys for some reason. This is my second cup of tea already today. I'm in my natural uniform for a Sunday. If anybody, anybody who knows me knows that I literally live in this outfit. It's so unexciting. It's literally a pair of like Lulu leg Lululemon leggings, which I was lucky enough to get because um, the store that I managed in Cambridge did a little collab with the new Lululemon. Um, so we all got given some leggings. I literally live in them but there's no way I would pay £120 for a pair of workout leggings. These socks, <laughs> um, which I've had for years, they were a present from a really good friend and there is holes in the bottom of them and they are falling apart but I refuse to get rid of them. They're literally my favourite things. Um, so yeah, I live in those and then this jumper massive oversized jumper which has some flat and a guitar on the back which came in one of the packages that i got full of um depop clothes to sell and i just can't sell it because i'm i love it by the way uh, i have a vintage page which i'll link down below where i'm selling like a load of jumpers and um there'll be some dickies bits going up there as well very very soon so i'll link that down below if you, just in case you want anything um i put some christmas jumpers up on there yesterday um all super cheap on vintage so <clears throat> yeah pop pop over there oh and they also got us yesterday some chocolate mm. it's pumpkin pie it's spiced pumpkin ganache almond praline and a crunchy cornflake crust and i'm so excited to try one of these Today's plan of action is quite unexciting. Ben is prepping the front garden um, with a friend ready for the windows tomorrow. Very excited about that. And um, I am kind of monging about really. Um, I started editing this yesterday, so I will add in the last little clips um, and get this up today. Whoop, whoop. Uh, I'm really excited and also really nervous about putting this up but i know how much i enjoyed it before and i just need to get over all of those like worries and nerves and who cares if anybody finds it that are like i think i'm more nervous about my new workplace finding it so if i work with you right now and you're watching this don't talk to me about it okay because it is what it is <laughs> Just don't bring up that you've watched it, okay? Okay, cool, thanks. I'm glad we have that agreement. Yeah, so I'm just gonna edit this. Probably put on like a cute autumnal film. Um, I don't really know what else to say. How do we end these vlogs now? Like, I part of me just really wants to do old school and it's like, if you're not subscribed, subscribed. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. Um, <laughs> but yeah. I mean, if you're not subscribed and you're interested in following along with my life, then subscribe. Um, and obviously I will po I post way more often um, over on Instagram, so uh, the link for that will be down in the description as well. And yeah, if you made it this far and you watched the whole vlog, well done, because 
I know it's not going to be the most ex of exciting of things that you've just spent god knows like 15 20 minutes of your life watching uh so thank you very much make sure you let me know you've got to this point in the vlog by giving it a thumbs up um and pop me a little comment let me know what you've been up to and hopefully no i will see you next sunday to be fair, next week is probably hopefully going to be quite a fun week because I'm getting my Halloween nails done. Delilah's getting a haircut and that's just freaking cute for anything. Just tune in to see her with a haircut. Um, and I have my hair appointment on Saturday. So it's going to be like a fresh, fresh new autumnal October start for Cara. You will get ready for summer and you get like your waxes and everything and your tans. And then there's me who is like, nope new hair for autumn, new nails for autumn, like this is just, this is my time. <laughs> See you next week, thank you for watching, bye bye. <laughs>